I'm gonna give you a nickname. That's that's good, but you know, I already I have a nickname. It's it's J D. How about the uh, whiny face? There's a joke I heard recently on the dumb Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve line that goes, of course not, it's Adam and Steven. And that got me thinking. A lot of younger gay guys I know actually use shorter versions of their names. Jake, Andy, Joe. So do gay guys prefer shorter or longer names? So this is a fascinating question, and you may never call me Bri. People call me the Bri man. I have to speculate on this question because I don't have any hard data to back it up, but I will say I think there's something to the observation that you made that your younger friends are using shorter names. And all gay men are named Mark, Rick, or Steve. <laughs> My sense is that this has something to do with the general shift uh, in gay male culture towards a more masculine presentation. And, I, and my sense is that those shorter names, Andy, Jake, Joe, Brent, whatever, those sorts of names have a more masculine feel to them. And so that's, you know, that's a great way to sort of shore up your uh, masculine cred if that's what you're after. Theodore, right? Ted's better. Ted? Okay. In terms of longer names, previous gay generations of men had been a little bit more comfortable with the feminine side of things, and so enjoyed using those more fussy, formal kinds of names. Francisco. That is. Bartholomew. <laughs> of course, it's also a great way to distinguish yourself amid a sea of Jakes and Joes uh, if you go by Joseph, and so that was a nice way for gay men to recognize one another. Uh, if you met a guy and he insisted on Joseph, that was not a bad uh, way to tell that he might be part of the family, so to speak. What does it always mean? Is this Junior? That's his name. Henry Jones Junior. Like Indiana. We're named the dog Indiana. Also, previous gay generations were not as interested in assimilation, uh, but that is the sort of name of the game today. I guess the more you sound like the high school quarterback, the better off you are. And who's going to pay for that? Pop. Mm. What? Father or the bride pays. I have no money. <laughs>